Leviathan is the biggest prehistoric whale that ever lived. In this video, we count down five facts about Leviathan. By researching its 10 foot long skull, paleontologists believe that Leviathan measured upwards of 50 feet from head to tail and weighed as much as 50 tons, about the same size as a modern sperm whale. This made Leviathan by far the largest predatory whale of the Miocene epoch, and it would have been secure in its position at the top of its food chain. The South American country of Peru hasn't exactly been a hotbed of fossil discoveries, thanks to the deep geological time and continental drift. Peru is best known for its prehistoric whales, not only Leviathan but other proto-whales that preceded it by tens of millions of years. Leviathan possessed the longest teeth of any animal. They were over a foot long and were used to tear into the flesh of its unfortunate prey. Amazingly, Leviathan even had bigger teeth than its arch enemy Megalodon, though the slightly smaller teeth of this giant shark were sharper. Leviathan would have needed to eat hundreds of pounds of food per day, not only to maintain its bulk but also to fuel its warm blooded metabolism. Most likely, Leviathan preferred prey including the smaller whales, seals and dolphins of the Miocene epoch, perhaps feasting on fish, squids, sharks and any other undersea creatures that happened to cross this giant whale's path. Whenever this giant whale went extinct, it was almost certainly because of the disappearance of its favourite prey. As prehistoric seals, dolphins and other smaller whales succumbed to the changing ocean temperatures and currents, this is the same fate that happened to Leviathan's arch nemesis Megalodon. Because of the lack of multiple fossil specimens, we're not sure exactly how long Leviathan ruled the seas, but it's a sure bet that this giant whale occasionally crossed paths with the equally giant prehistoric shark Megalodon. While it's unknown if these two apex predators would have deliberately targeted one another, they may well have butted heads in the pursuit of the same prey. During the mid-Miocene epoch, the territory of these two giants briefly overlapped, meaning they could stray into each other's waters. But who wins in a head-to-head -head battle between Leviathan and Megalodon? Aside from its bulk, Leviathan had two major things going for it. First, this prehistoric whale's teeth were longer and more thicker than those of Megalodon, some of them measuring well over a foot long. In fact, they're the longest identified teeth in the animal kingdom. Second, as a warm-blooded mammal, Leviathan presumably possessed a bigger brain than any plus-sized sharks or fish in its habitat, and thus would have been quicker to react in close-quarter combat. The disadvantages of this creature is that it wasn't the sleekest of whales. It couldn't have swum away from attackers with any great speed. But who would win? As dangerous as Megalodon's teeth were, they were no match for the even bigger foot-long teeth of Leviathan. Also, as a cold-blooded shark rather than a warm-blooded mammal, Megalodon possessed a smaller, more primitive brain, and was presumably less capable of thinking its way out of a tough situation. If Megalodon was able to bite the fins of this giant whale, it may stand a chance of winning the battle. But if the Leviathan was to bite the Megalodon's back, it would most certainly crush the shark's spine, leaving it not able to move. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.